Hey, this is Chip with Fly Oz. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the Fly Oz Content Pack for ForeFlight. We're going to cover installing and removing the Content Pack in another video. Once the Content Pack is installed, you can show it and hide it using the Layer button at the top left of the screen. If you scroll down to the bottom of the Layer menu, you'll see an item called Fly Oz. That's the Content Pack. You can display the content pack information or hide the display by toggling the Fly Oz menu item. Each of the circles on the map represents an airstrip in the Fly Oz network. You'll notice two colors, green and yellow. The green airstrips don't require any prior permission from the owner to use them. The yellow airstrips require the pilot to meet some type of a condition to use them, and that's usually a call to the owner for permission. Circles are also different sizes. Airstrips that we've provided additional information for are the larger circles. The smaller circles don't have this additional overview information. Once the content pack is loaded in ForeFlight, it's available even when there's no Wi-Fi or cell service. And a lot of our airstrips here don't have any kind of service, so it's a great idea to have this information loaded before you come. To see airstrip information, just click on one of the circles. When we do, a sidebar opens, and at the bottom you can see two documents. More details is a summary of general information about the strip showing elevation, frequencies, runway information, and contact data. The Airfield Guide PDF is a single sheet printout from the Airfield Guide showing more detailed information including the placement of amenities, wind indicators, hazards around the strip. It's worth noting that these single page summaries are available for any airfield in the Airfield Guide. All you have to do is click on the printer icon for that airstrip. Let's open a conditional airfield that has a little more information, trigger gap. Here you see the same two documents that we saw previously, more details in the airfield guide PDF, but there's also an overview document, so let's open that. At the top of the document we list elevation and frequency information, and then below that we show the amenities of the strip. Uh, in this case we have restrooms, camping, and paddling. Then we include a short overview of the strip any noise abatement considerations, and, and we provide uh, more details about the amenities. Here at Trigger Gap, for example, how to arrange for a float trip. Then we highlight known hazards and give information about how well the strips drain. After that, for each runway, we provide our own, well, not very scientific ski slope type rating of the approach and departure, along with a brief description of obstacles, slope, winds, other considerations for the runway. We had backcountry aircraft and proficient pilots in mind when we came up with these ratings, so they wouldn't apply to a low-time pilot on a 152. You can also flight plan using uh, Fly Oz airstrips. We've appended OZ at the end of each airstrip identifier in the content pack to make it easier to choose which set of information you want to see, the FAA information or the Fly Oz information. In this flight plan from Bentonville to Birds Adventure Center, we've included both the FAA identifier and the Fly Oz Content Pack identifier. Now that way you can touch either of these identifiers in the flight plan and pull up the information that you're looking for. Well, that's an overview of the Fly Oz Content Pack for for flight. We hope you'll look us up on our website at flyoz.com. You can get in touch with us by email, follow us on Instagram at flyozark, Check out our YouTube channel at Fly Oz. Friend us on Facebook at Fly Oz. And you can also visit our friends at the Airfield Guide and ThadenField.com. Be safe. Come see us.